think LG Display calls the media chair, but I call it the throne of awesome. Tends to play classic board games oh, cool. digitally on its 24 or 32 inch HD touchscreen. I just feel like they're gonna come after news anchors. It seems like every company has some sort of an implementation for micromobility to get you from A to B, uh, but ultimately Honda's was a little bit different. They have these things called PNDs or plug and drive modules they're like little automated motorized caster wheels that you could put on anything. Uh, the idea being that you could definitely put them on a small personal mobility device to take you to the bus or to the airport or something like that. They even showed them on tables in offices, for example, to have workspaces move around you and adapt to your needs. Instead of you moving from one room to the next, maybe the room just kind of rearranges itself around you to become whatever you need. And that's a really interesting concept, a simple technology that with the right know-how and the right implementation could be pretty powerful. Infinity Game Table has you sit with up to five other family members or friends to play classic board games oh, cool. digitally on its 24 or 32 inch HD touchscreen. It could be Monopoly, Scrabble, Battleship, Candyland. These are all built in, over 60 of them, or you can download other games. The problem at my house, Mark, is that with the three, between the three kids that I have, we'll lose one of the pieces to the board game, you know, the dice or Not the anymore. chips or the pieces. Yeah, that's Everything's the right the there digital. <laughs> My favorite concept product is something LG Display calls the Media Chair, but I call it the Throne of Awesome. This thing has a 55-inch curved OLED TV attached to a chair that reclines and looks damn cool doing it. One of the coolest things, this display can rotate from vertical or portrait mode into landscape mode, although I'd love to have one of these things at home. LG Display says a more practical use would be in something like a first-class airport lounge. They're and it's kind of scary to see just how stunningly human-like she is. A robot that wakes up and twists its face in the grimace of shock and then examines its hands in disbelief. Now, not only is Amic Amica's movements exceptionally fluid, but look at its face that seems totally natural. As for the technology, experts say Amica's combination of mechanical limbs and ligaments, joints, and sensor arrays is cutting edge. But guys, aside from just marveling at Amica, a lot of people are pretty terrified. Uh, folks are making references to movies like The Matrix and Terminator, wondering if we really are getting closer to robots taking over the world. Because I, I just feel like they're going to come after news anchors. Finally, meet the king of massage chairs, body friends, Pharaoh O2. Here we go. Oh, now it's starting. I, I feel it. It's, oh wow. Oh. Premium speakers, voice control, and a burst of oxygen to relax and rejuvenate. But before you get too comfy, keep in mind, it's $10,000. Can you just take this and I'll be done for the rest of the day? Thank you. See you later, CEF. 구독과 좋아요 눌러주세요.